Welcome to Test Chamber, everyone. I am Andrew Reiner. We are playing Batman Arkham Knight, today's big release. We're playing it on Xbox One. I haven't seen it on this system yet. I only played it on PlayStation 4. And I have my sidekick, Robin, Jeff Cork here. Well, I'm more of a Nightwing. I okay, like sorry, sorry. You are older, so you are know. more I'm you are more of a, but... a Dick sidekick. Yes, Dick Grayson. Dick like. Grayson. That sounds great. So uh, this sequence was shown. This is the very beginning of the game, and we yes. only want to show the beginning for obvious spoiler reasons. Uh, but this was shown at the, the PlayStation press conference. Yes. Uh, and this this sequence is playable. I, I, I don't think people realized that while uh, they were watching that. But yeah. uh, the first time I played this, I just sat and looked at Joker's face for... I don't know how long, like a minute. I was like, this is really weird. Are we just waiting for the music to I end? had the same thing happen to me because you'll see it pop up. But I, th I was like, oh, he's going to open his eyes. Here it comes. And uh, I'm, I, his eyes don't open. Yeah, so then, at this point, you just rotate the analog stick and you, you start these flames. So if you keep them going, you can see you could start melting his face here, which is pretty disgusting. And you can kind of leave it. Like if I stop. Okay, because what happened for just me? just kind of leave it. I've got like speakers in front of my television because that's how I hear sound. <laughs> okay. And unfortunately, in front of the, I didn't. I was just watching. I didn't like twiddle the analog sticks or anything. Eventually, a prompt said X to uh, ignite. But I have like the vinyl Cartman from this Stick of Truth. Is how it so I didn't see that prompt. So I was I was looking at that screen for about a minute. What spoiler, spoiler right there? Yeah, old, um, it was old age. And we're going to avoid spoiler talk at all costs. Yes. Jeff, you played for a few hours last night, got to one huge one, the yes. one that's gotten, that had me giddy all week yeah. and wanting to talk to people. And people who spoil that, you, if you do that, you're just a world-class a-hole. Yeah, any spoiler awesome. in this, yeah. I know there's some reviews that spoiled it. Yeah, that's so stupid. But it didn't come. And, um, yeah, we're, we're no, no worries here. We will not no. say anything at all. At all? No. We're, we're just going to so listen to the game. All right. But my reviews on GameInformer.com right now, I gave it a 9.5 out of 10. Absolutely adored the story. Um, this is Rocksteady's kind of end of their trilogy. I know there was the the uh, Origins prequel game mm -hmm. that was by WB Montreal. But this really feels like a great end. There's Sefton Hill, by the way. That was the director on the right mm -hmm. of the game. Um, feels like a great end to a trilogy. You know, the stuff that started in... Arkham Asylum, the first game, uh, concludes here in a pretty big way. Thanks. And so I'm playing as a police officer, which is kind of cool in first person. They do this a lot throughout the game. Uh, different perspectives, different characters. You're jerking your head around like a bird, basically. <laughs> taste the real taste. What? There you go. Okay, we'll be cinematic. We'll, we'll try to make this look like a movie. And we have the subtitles on. Those aren't oh, normally on. Coffee, but we did that so you could uh, see what people are saying if we're mm -hmm. talking over it by accident or intentionally. Hey, look at this guy. Yeah, he's giving that Batman guy a hard time. Whoa. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt your dinner office. Mm -hmm. uh, Owens. But there's a guy smoking over there in the corner booth. What? <sighs> Wait here. These are like those guys who, like, when they're on the subway or bus and someone's taking up too much space, they, like, tweet a photo rather than just confronting the person by right. themselves. I hate that. Passive but aggressive. If you don't like that yeah. smoking guy, say, hey, you mind putting that out? Yeah, because I was just going to have some coffee yeah. and read my paper. What's the headline? Can we see? Wayne Enterprises, uh, 300 million to Arkham City. Yep. Okay. Wait, Arkham City. Let's just leave. This place is full of smokers. Alright, here we go. Lots of details. The whole game is absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. We heard there's some problems with the PC version at this point. Hopefully those get fixed. Hey, who's that cool guy? Is it anarchy? Yeah, it's anarchy. Oh, nope. So the big bad of this game is Scarecrow. Mm -hmm. That is not a spoiler. They have revealed that. If you look at the back of the box, you'll even see that. Yeah. And here we go. He deals with uh, a fear toxin that's pretty potent. Looks like people are enjoying their food. 
Just like Resident Evil style zombie clothes. So I'm actually shooting the gun there. This mm -hmm. is not scripted. You're not good at shooting that gun, Reiner. There. And then I can just, you know, aim and shoot. Kill as many of these guys as I want until I run out of ammo. Oh, oh, wow. That was a nice shot. Oh, that guy got me. Didn't see him. Yeah. And that was how the press conference ended, which I thought was weird. They had a preview for Batman without Batman in it. E3 seems like a million years ago. Did they show that that <laughs> yeah, all confrontation? The way that. Yeah. Really? So this is all new now. And who's the voice of this guy? Uh, John Noble? Nobel? From Fringe, right? Fringe, yeah. The mad scientist from Fringe. Yes. Walter. Walter, yes. <laughs> so Gotham, they scare pretty easily. I thought this was pretty cheesy. It's like, everything's great. The Joker's dead. Mm -hmm. Crime is down. They're enjoying the nightlife and the arts, finally. Yeah. They're out and about. And then some, some nut job gets up on the titan tron's like boo and they're like six million people leave well i think that, like the city's like get the buses let's go yeah they they had them all gassed up and running <laughs> just waiting <laughs> this is the worst possible city and they're like i mean if, if scarecrow says he's gonna do something you know that it's gonna happen yeah you're probably right so, oh, so show me some cool Easter eggs. You're a big Batman fan. Sure. Um, that this was is, okay, that guy the died. wine bottle that Two-Face drank after he robbed his first bank. Interesting. On Still on the street. Enjoy the chaos. <laughs> <Gotham's finest. Scum. laughs> Penguin still has that uh, bottle in his eye, which mm -hmm. is weird. I think he could afford a better one. Reiner? Not enough good people Who's this stuff? guy's voice actor? It's Commissioner Gordon. Who is he it? Is from Breaking Bad. It's Mike. Mike from Breaking Bad. There you go. That's his official name now. I can't remember his. I have voice no idea what his real name is. <laughs> Gotham, a lot bigger, a lot of boroughs uh, to explore. You have different methods. You can soar across it with your cape again. Mm hmm. Uh, much faster than yep. it was in previous games. Controls beautifully, and then you also have, which you'll see here in a little bit, uh, the Batmobile, yeah. which is a mixed bag, in my opinion. Yeah. What's so, your early take on it? I like the Batmobile so far. Okay. But I'm only like two and a half hours in, so sure. I can't say that it's gotten old yet. I will say this game looks nice. I'm going to go out on a limb. It's a good-looking game. So here we are. Nice little transition to, spoiler, Bruce Wayne, Batman. Well, thanks. I haven't gotten that far in the game. Uh, you can see he's wearing an old costume right now, which mm -hmm. uh, he'll get a new one later. Oh, another spoiler. <laughs> You're really blowing it here, Reiner. Well, you do see it on the title screen. Yeah, but maybe I Let's did see. not look at the title screen because I want to do avoid spoilers. But it is your typical open world. Plays just like any... Uh, you know, I guess Arkham City and Origins, mm -hmm. where you could just kind of take flight, and you're off. You do this to descend, and it's hard. Um, it's a lot easier to grapple up mm -hmm. and then launch yourself than in previous yeah. games. I'm gonna give a spoiler. You get a better grapple, and you get better at gliding. Is it impossible to? Like, is it really hard to go back to this, like the first version of your glide and all yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right now it seems slow, but obviously it gets a lot better as it goes. And we'll go to our objective here. I'll show off the uh, the level up system and all that as we go. But I really enjoyed it. I had, mm -hmm. I guess I haven't seen a game like this in quite some time where I just wanted to beeline the um, the the campaign. Yeah, or the critical path. And here's. An iconic image for you. Commissioner Gordon on his phone. <laughs> yes. And the bat symbol. Sorry, I've or signal. Go. Stay safe, Barbara. But yeah, I didn't want to do the side stuff because I wanted to see how the story ended and where mm -hmm. it was going. Evacuation going. Last bus crossed the city limits an hour ago. I'm just glad my little girl got out when she did. Now the real work begins. Any lead on Scarecrow? 
We were tracking an unknown military vehicle speeding through Chinatown. There are some it's the only unintentionally funny Batman lines in this, too. Yeah, exactly I've said some of the dialogue's hokey. Um, some of it's pretty bad. It, but the story is great. The overall story yeah, is really I'm good. I'm really enjoying what I've seen you so far. Really think Scarecrow's crazy enough to detonate a chemical weapon in Gotham? I won't let that happen. Have you seen the guy? He's absolutely crazy. <laughs> you need to reach me. It's going to be a long night. But I mean, if you're thinking of evacuating, it's maybe like, well, Batman stopped him every other time. Yeah. Hey, he's probably going to try to, but we do have Batman. Hey, Batman. Every damn time. <laughs> That's pretty good. He's just hanging off the side. Yep. Giggling. <laughs> And if he leaned over the railing, it would be really embarrassing for Batman. Location of Unit 247. Already yep. Okay, can he... Do you think he only he can see this? He's holding up. Or can anyone, when he's, like, down on the streets talking to people, like... I, I bet everybody Alfred. can see it. <laughs> if you're in the right... It might be, like, a laptop screen. I know Because you can like, turn it, you know? Yeah, it's like a virtual thing, but you may have to be at the optimal angle. Well, how does Batman know Alfred? <laughs> And away we go. So, uh, let's see. What is the... Yeah, you go beat some guys up. Camera. I don't know. There's nobody out yet. Really? Yeah, because the police copters are still out, right? Oh, no. There are people out there. Thugs! Thugs. All right. Let's see if we can find them. I is, don't have detective vision yet. Is Thug Banter a spoiler runner? Because yes. something. Okay. Yeah, all the staples from the series return. A lot of his gadgets. But uh, can I talk about that? One that I thought was funny. Yeah. Okay. The one guy says, "Yeah, if you see Batman, or if you see him, just yell out Batman and charge him." <laughs> <laughs> that always works. That always works. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. Sorry to have spoiled that for you. Well, there's no point in playing it now. Yep gonna get a BAFTA just for that line reading alone. Uh oh. Here we go. Who should I get? Pick one. Uh, the guy on the far left. This there guy? There you go, yep. Alright, you got it. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh dear. So there's that standard takedown. I want to show you something else. When you have an enemy down, you can now just beat the crap out of their face, which is really nice so you can continue that combo if you accidentally keep attacking in that direction. Mm. Um... The counter window seems to be expanded. We're playing on normal difficulty. I don't know if they've made that a little easier or not. Obviously, didn't have a lot of time uh, oh, to test out the different difficulties. But, um, yeah, combat as a whole seemed a lot easier. You can pick up weapons now. You saw those highlighted. Mm -hmm. um, Batman breaks them pretty quickly, as you would imagine. But he can also... Um, oh, hold on. we got to pick this guy up. You're safe. You can also this, upgrade this the, great. the time you have with them. So watch this real quick, because it, it's on the TV. What, when he hugs the police officer? Right here. Watch the cop, what he says. The city's overrun. We don't stand a He's not like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> that car almost totally creamed us, and now I'm on a roof. Yeah, Batman just hugged me and picked me up. All right, here we go. So you can call the Batmobile... At any time. Usually, uh, sometimes you're in scripted areas where you can't. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, your typical Arkham Asylum type of things. But most times you have this vehicle with you. And it's... I said in my review, it's as fully featured as any character in a Oracle. in a game. I mean, you're, you'll see as you go throughout the game, it is used in a variety of different ways. Yep. Sometimes you're controlling just the Batmobile by itself. It can be kind of a remote control device. Mm -hmm. um, it's used for... Exploration purposes, races, puzzles, combat. It also turns into a tank, which we can't do right now. I just tried. And I'll try to take one of these turns a little tight. Oh, I should take these guys out first. Let's see if I can take this turn. No. Nope. Or maybe here. Kind of. Yeah, you could take out like huge chunks of the wall sometimes, mm -hmm. like a, a good foot or two into the wall. So the Batmobile has all sorts of weapons. Yeah, you've got like an EMP missile right there, and you can do like a side swipe thing. And uh, 
there are a bunch of side missions in each burrow, uh, which is like you can kind of 100% each burrow and clean out all the crime from it. One of them is this, taking down these vehicles. Usually there are other vehicles along with it. Oh, bye. <laughs> See ya. All right, I'll come back here. That's always a drag in these kind of games, though. It's like, like in a Far Cry. It's like, okay, I've cleaned everything up. Now there's, there's nothing to do now. I'll say, so far, the Xbox One version seems really nice. Mm -hmm. Right there with the PS4. Where's Scarecrow? All the rain on his body looks super cool. Hmm. Puts that in my pocket Where's for later. <laughs> I got nothing to say to you, Batman. Talk, or I'll crush every bone in your body. Okay, okay. She's working out of a penthouse in Chinatown. I swear, that's all I know. If you're lying, I'll break the other one. Oh, here's a good line. Yep. What? Uh, it's uncalled for. There's Detective Vision. Used in very cool ways yep. this time around. Uh, side missions, but also, you know, when you're doing... Um, now, I won't spoil the devices, but when you're doing your Check typical the stealth analysis. combat sequences, mm -hmm. the predator mode or whatever you want to call yeah. it, so he's doing this right in front of this guy, right? Does the guy disappear? No, he's right there. Like, dude, here, take this info. Make a mental image of who I'm talking to. Yeah. It's the police commissioner's daughter. Like, go up on a rooftop if you're going to do that. Should we fly or take the Batmobile? Oh, fly. Okay. It's really fun. Oh. And this is super cool. Where we're going. Oh, yeah. This part is... Like you said, it's super cool, Reiner. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Everything you see, you get to. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. There are bros <laughs> across the river that, that you can't get to. Okay, what was this again? It's over there. Oh. Uh oh. I got this. I want this guy. Oh. <laughs> That's messed up, man. He there says. he is. What? Um, so all sorts of new silent takedowns. You can chain them together later in the game. That one right there, you have to throw a batarang at them. Uh, it's kind of a new defensive technique for stopping those guys. There's the punching where you could just knock them out. And we'll do the standard. Boom. Oh, geez. Yeah, they still won't let me use detective vision. The doors are locked. I'll have to find another way in. What do you think, Jeff? A tunnel. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this might trigger. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Look who it is. No, it didn't do it. You should really review your security. Try to do an environmental. Oh. There we go. Good grief. <laughs> Overkill? It's a bit much. I am struggling with these controls I want to play on PS4. Yeah. There. That's a good view of it. And I don't have batarangs yet. Something tells me this wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> I always like those bats that fly around when you end a combat encounter. You think they're real or just in his mind? They're in his mind. Here's a classic character. Sir, Batman, here. Wonder Woman. Plant Girl. The voice acting is really good. Mm -hmm. I want you to know the fear that is coming. And all the animation and little touches they have, just top notch. It looks so good. I went back and played Asylum. I was like, whoa, I remember this game just looking awesome. But compared to this, it's nothing. Probably uncalled for, mm -hmm. but it looked cool. Ah. 
How do you suppose she figured that out? Just now? Just now? She's like, whew. Oh, God. What are you doing here? So there are a lot of classic characters in this. Mm -hmm. But one thing is they don't do a lot of traditional no. boss fights anymore. Yeah. Which I think is really cool. So you don't really know what you're going to get from them. Sometimes it might just be like a cinematic sequence you don't have control over. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there'll be cinematic sequence where you do have control and you, it's kind of surprising that you do. Uh, other times, maybe it's a tank battle in the Batmobile against someone. Um, but rarely, I mean, I can't even think of one outside of one side mission where you're doing the same thing three times. Where it is that kind of rule of three, mm -hmm. expose their weakness three times, defeat them. I, there isn't a traditional battle like that. Yeah. I told him that I wasn't interested in his pathetic human games, and when I came to Batman's super smart and observant. It's such a shame that his vile toxin has no effect on me. Mm hmm. Nature always wins. Whoa. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Will he ever learn? Nope. I'm Batman. Da, 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 da. What's going on here? Ha! Ha! You're coming with me. <laughs> no one beats Batman. You only had to ask. He should have said, do you ever learn? What's yeah. No, do you ever learn? Wah! And there's the tanks. So there are a lot of tanks in this game. There, the army that Arkham Knight, who's another character you're going to be introduced to here later, um, and Scarecrow have assembled is got to be in the billions of dollars. Yeah, easily. They must have good like taken uh, Bruce Wayne's pin number or something. So here's your item wheel. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you got your bat claws, book pellets, which you saw I could have used in, in combat. This is the one you control manually, your standard batarang. Line launcher, again, you know, all these kind of standard things for... Still has that metroid S thing where you're looking for secrets. Yep. Can 100% it, getting Riddler trophies, all that stuff. But we're going to call the Batmobile here from remote. So there it goes. It takes its tank shape. Which is really cool. It controls really well. Unfortunately, through three quarters of the game, I would say combat is is a little rough, um, a little uneventful. Yeah, a little too slow. So here I am controlling it, strafing. Controls beautifully. You can just go right into driving. It's very helpful for um, for uh, just navigating uh, mm -hmm. environments. Yeah, because there's some sections that they're not platforming, obviously, but they're, right. you're driving along these kind of precarious routes up top. And here you can see some of the destruction where you just go through all this stuff. And here come the tanks. So the whole game is basically shoot the tanks, stay out of the red laser. If it's green, that means they're lining up their shot. You can see it's red there. Just get out of it. And it's pretty simple and slow, and it stays this way far too long. But it does change with... Don't spoil it, but... It does. Something happens. You get an upgrade or something. I mean, you're going to be taking on a lot more. Other things get involved. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not spoiler. But yeah, it's just like Batman. You upgrade it. You get new abilities, new powers. But man, I mean... This does not scream excitement or Batman to me at all. No. <laughs> uh, it's fun uh, to a degree, it, it, but not until later in the game, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we finished that. Let's just... That's fun. <laughs> Park. And I love this. Let's see if I can get the camera. Oh, it'll just yep. it cinematic. You use this a lot. So when you apprehend criminals or you're taking someone to safety, you usually drive. to know where those tanks are coming from. I'm tracking several transport helicopters moving into the city. There are more on the way. Activate the Batmobile weapon diagnostics. It's time to go to war. All right, away we go. Uh, one thing 
This is a minor, minor, minor spoiler about how you should play the game. Okay. If you want to see everything up from the story. Yeah. I'm going to say... Do everything you can. All the Riddler trophies and areas. Clear it all out because when you finish the game, mm -hmm. you're not going to get credits. Um, you'll need to complete some more missions. It'll prompt you for some more stuff to see another ending. But that's not all of the story. To see everything from the story, you need to 100% the game. That means getting all 260 plus Riddler trophies. Um, I bet most people will just go to YouTube. Okay. That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> it is. It's. It, I was kind of like it. it kind of ruins the. Uh, so there was a barrage right there. So you you fill up your meter by. Well, this is just a training kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but you can see those meters that are highlighted right there. You fill those up, and you will get. Um, oh, this is just monotonous. But you'll get um, barrages, which help like you fire out like six rockets at once. Yeah, I don't... I, I like this functionality. I just... Batman's combat from the outset of play from Arkham Asylum, just the standard hand-to-hand -hand combat, was fun. Yeah. This is not fun. It takes far too long for it to, to reach that point where it's, like, really satisfying. So there we go. I launch four missiles. And we'll just... Uh, <laughs> take out some stuff. So he has to do this test every time he goes out for a <laughs> He's probably drive. like, Alfred, what's yeah. going on? We got to track down Scarecrow. Yeah, it takes away some of the uh, the believability of this story. Well, you, you got a Batman. But, That's kind of weird, They right? could have had this be optional. People can figure it out on their own. All right, here we go. Kaplooey. We did it. And you're going to do a lot of Batmobile stuff mm -hmm. early on in the game, but it really does open up. There will be burrows that are kind of locked to the Batmobile, so you'll have to just do flight. So they definitely pay attention to, like, okay, we've done too much Batmobile stuff at this point. Okay, good. Let's let's lean a little heavier on just standard exploration. Um, I would say it's pretty nicely balanced. Maybe towards the end, there's a couple battles that are a little too much Batmobile, but um, I got through them pretty. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> I threw them pretty quick. Just as I say that, I run headlong into tanks. Now, wait a minute. Was that missile barrage like residual effect from your VR training? Yes. So yes. how come they can't just trigger that for you all the time? Shh. Be quiet, sweet prince. <laughs> I'm just asking the tough questions <laughs> about Batman. You don't know how technology or science work. No. All right, we did it. Flawless. There you go. <laughs> I'll just explore the city a little. And this is one of the few games where you're driving a car, and if you hit a tree, the tree flies away. Correct. Yeah. There's, Few things stop the Batmobile. And you will see civilians. I don't know if they're civilians, but a lot of thugs on the streets, mm -hmm. like, you know, the uh, the henchmen for, for certain factions, um, you know, just kind of running or even driving. Uh, there's some, yeah, there you go. Perfectly timed. <laughs> so it doesn't feel completely empty, but yeah, most of the civilians left. And we'll just kind of show this off. This is kind of cool. This will be a nice spot to end this here. We don't want to spoil anything. Yeah. Uh, I would say the spoilers come, what, maybe an hour, hour and a half after this? Yeah, right around there. So if you're going to watch any streams or anything from the beginning, just know when you should check out. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Super cool. Because it, it is seriously worth experiencing that on your own. Yep, yep. And we will, uh, I just want to show off the evidence room here. No, just driving through some pillars. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. I'll fix it. I'm rich. I mean... I am a Batman. I know someone. Again, dude, hide it. Who taught you to drive? Pretty good. 
She was thinking about that line for that entire <laughs> ride. As soon as I'm out of his trunk. <laughs> And uh, a lot of comic fan service here, obviously, from, from comic books. Mm -hmm. uh, like Commissioner Gordon, I think, is a character from the comics. He was in one issue, yep. Scarecrow's gonna break you, Batman. Mm -hmm. Honestly, why do you even bother with these meat sacks? What? I'm just walking down the hall. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. Yeah. Commissioner Gordon's the only uh, person at the police department that doesn't wear his police outfit. Mm -hmm. He has his weird little girdle on. Oh, good. Another cell. So the police department is fully uh, modeled, which is really cool. You can explore it, talk to people. There's some mm -hmm. side content in here. Um, other things to note, you know, gadgets play a big part in this game. Not as much as we've seen in the other games, especially Origins, you know, mm -hmm. doing the door hacks, all that stuff. Um, lots of little things to look at, um, you know, just occurring dynamically throughout the game. You know, everything's lots of little hints to things you can read on boards. Um, you know, again, you can talk to people. Here's the evidence room. This is where we'll end it. So this is kind of a nice little um, tour throughout the series. No, I didn't go through the evidence room. Uh, let's see if this might be the high. Yeah, so down here, you know, we won't oh, click cool. into this stuff, but, you know, you got the villains from yesteryear, from the previous games, Bane. And does he Joker. just talk about it? Meta, yeah, it gives you a guy. I don't know why they'd have this be, like, <laughs> an attraction. Yeah. But, yeah, you can hear data and all this stuff, which is cool. Um, you know, some... I, I got a kick out of this, just remembering all these fights as, as I went through here. Obviously, people love the mystery freeze uh, fight. That was a great fight. I don't remember Great, great White. Yeah. I remember he was when you were making a little raft. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, so some cool stuff there. You know, that was a pretty great moment from Origins. And then who can forget Harley? She's uh, DLC, uh, I guess, day one DLC with the pre-orders, right? Yes. Um, there's a Riddler trophy. So you got to figure out how to get that. How do you get that? Hmm, there's glass. We'll have to figure that out later. And we'll just end it with the iconic <laughs> with the imagery of Batman with the photocopier. So <laughs> thanks, Jeff. I'm glad you're enjoying the game. Yeah, it's super great. I can't great. wait to talk to you more about the story as it goes forward. It'll be fun to see your reactions to different scenes as you move forward. And thanks again to Wade Wojcik for putting this video together. And uh, we'll see you all next time in the next Test Chamber. Bye-bye.